you for choosing Starbucks. My name's Will. What's yours? Hi, Lauren. Hey there, Lauren. What can I get for you? Yes, can I please do um, a grande chestnut praline latte with almond milk? Oh, so unfortunately we just ran out of almond milk. Oh, okay. Um, can I do oat milk? Yeah, totally. And then can I just do two pumps of the chestnut praline and two of sugar-free vanilla? Chestnut praline. And then you said two sugar-free vanilla? Yes, please. Anything else for you? That's it. Where did your passy go? Are you upset? Can you drop your passy? <gasps> Maybe we'll go by 5 a.m. Starbucks is a must. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay, so I just picked up some coffee. Um, I think you guys heard my order. I try and do one of their holiday drinks with almond milk instead of regular milk or oat milk, and then I just cut whatever flavor you want. I did the chestnut praline latte. Um, I cut it down to two pumps for a grande, and then I balance it out, because normally a grande has four pumps of flavoring. Um, I do two of the holiday flavor and two of sugar-free vanilla. So whether you're doing the chestnut praline latte, or the caramel brulee, or I think the other one's sugar cookie maybe. I haven't tried it with that one yet. Um, but it's easy just to kind of still have a holiday drink from Starbucks but lighten them up a bit. Almond milk really helps cut down the points because I think one cup of almond milk on the new WW plan is only like one point and a cup of regular milk or oat milk are like four or five points. So, oh well. I tried to do lighter points on the coffee this morning it's medium worked out so I balanced some out I'll have to recalculate out um, because I did the oat milk instead of almond milk how many points this is actually gonna be today normally when I do almond milk I think it comes in around like six points for grande anyway I jumped right into it it has been a long morning already it is like 9 15 Nora's been up since 5 a.m. so she has conked out she is asleep in her car seat and we dropped Lila off at preschool this morning but she has her Christmas program which I'm so excited to see she's been practicing her Christmas songs um, over at her preschool this morning so I didn't really have enough time to go home put Nora down for any sort of a nap I felt like by the time I got her to sleep I'd only have like 20 minutes and then have to wake her up again to get in the car and go to the program which is this morning so anyway we just decided to have a car chill this morning I went and grabbed coffee she's fallen asleep so I'm gonna let her have a little car nap and I think I'll go ahead and use the app on my phone to put in a grocery pickup order for later today I figure it's kind of a crazy day there's like kind of a lot going on with her Christmas program and everything um, my parents get to town tonight I'm so excited they are coming to visit us for an early Christmas since we are not traveling this year we've started trying to switch off every other year being home for Christmas so our kids can wake up in their own home in their own beds and Santa has come to our own house and it's just so crazy traveling um, with Christmas with kids so we're trying to do every other year um, traveling to see family versus staying home so this year is a stay home year we're so thankful that they are gonna be able to come visit us and do a little early Christmas my sister actually just left a couple days ago she came to see the girls and us for Christmas for like a long weekend to do a little holiday get-together so my my heart is pretty full of family, which is great, but even though it's been a crazy time, I'm truly trying to stick to what I talked about in my last video, where I am on the WW plan, on my healthy plan, like 80% of the time this month, with only 20% being more flexible for those holidays and special get-togethers, so I'm still trying to be good. It's a crazy day, so I figure I'm going to film a what I eat in a day to help keep myself on track. So this morning, this is my first coffee of the day, and then honestly, even though we were up so early this morning, Nora was like super crabby and I had to get Lila ready for her program and all Christmassy looking. So I'm looking for it in my diaper bag. I just threw a bill bar in my bag. I haven't shared these with you guys in a long time. I shared them a ton last winter. I was eating them all the time. They're a great source of protein, a great grab and go protein snack. Um, this is one of the Built Bar Puffs and these are my favorite. I really like the texture on these guys. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I just, 
I still eat them and I still like them. So I'm gonna have one of these. It's the banana cream pie flavor, which I haven't had before. We got this in like a variety box of the puffs. I like the texture of these, I think I just said, more than the original Built Bars. They tend to be a little stickier on your teeth. These are almost like a chocolate covered marshmallow treat. Um, they're 140 calories, 17 grams of protein, seven grams of sugar in this one. So it's probably a little higher in sugar than I would want, but it's a little, little hold me over breakfast. And then I'll eat something a little heartier when we get home for more of um, like an early lunch. So yeah, I am going to eat while the baby sleeps. Mm. Let's kind of see. Ooh, I like this flavor. Chocolate and banana. It's a good combo. I got home from seeing Lila's Christmas program. I got the girls all situated and settled, and now it's finally time to have a little bit of a more substantial meal. Today I'm trying the Trader Joe's Shakshuka starter. Super easy, grab and go frozen item. It's a spice stew of tomatoes and peppers. This is the first time I'm trying this out, so I'm gonna go ahead and open my WW app. And I'm using the scan a barcode function to find out my points. When you open your app, there's an easy access button right at the top of your home screen to scan something. You click the little barcode symbol and then you use your camera on your phone to scan the barcode on your item. It's going to go ahead and populate it in the app, select how many servings or any adjustments you want to, and then you can go ahead and add it right to your daily food list to keep track of your points for the day. I am pretty hungry and I haven't eaten much else today and I know I'm going to go ahead and make at least two eggs with this, which are a great lean protein and zero points on the new WW plan. So I'm going to go ahead and make the whole package versus one serving. I believe it's technically two servings per package, but you can also eat the whole package for only three points. So if you're looking for something to fill you up, but not burn a lot of your points for the day, this is a great option. I love that you get to crack the eggs directly into this disposable microwave safe bowl. It makes it so easy and there's no cleanup involved, no pots, pans, or dishes to add to my sink in the middle of the day. Since this meal is only three points right now because eggs are zero and the full package of shakshuka comes in at three points, I'm also going to have a nice hearty slice of homemade sourdough bread. This is gonna be a great vehicle to eat that stewed tomato and pepper and egg mixture with. I'm just gonna go ahead and toast off a piece of sourdough and I can use it to dip. I am shocked how perfectly these eggs cooked. The whites are fully cooked. The yolk still has a nice runniness to it. You could cook it longer if you like your eggs a little bit more done. I love a good runny egg. And I've switched over to drinking mostly water during the day after my coffee, but to mix it up a little bit this afternoon, I have a nice big glass of ice water and I'm gonna add a raspberry lemonade water flavoring. I think this is the Great Value brand, but you can also use Crystal Light. These come in at zero points on the WW plan. These are a great option to change up your beverages. Well, it is significantly later, but that's honestly because I haven't eaten anything since I showed you guys my eggs and shakshuka that I had for lunch. Sorry if I'm not saying that correctly. I think that's how you pronounce it, um, which was so good. It was really filling too, so I know it's a lot later. I've gotten the girls to bed. We ran out to the grocery store to do some shopping and errands. Again, my parents get here tonight and I just needed to restock on some staples. I'm sure my mom and I will go grocery shopping together tomorrow or the next day. After we talk about like ideas we wanna make for dinners and meals, we are gonna be like celebrating our family Christmas this weekend, so we're gonna be making like a Christmas meal, but we haven't figured out what that's gonna be yet. But here's a quick peek at some of the things I got. So for fruit, I grabbed some blueberries and bananas. I also have a big bunch of grapes that I am popping in the sink right now to wash. Um, I have some more bread flour. I've been really into making our sourdough bread. This is one I made earlier in the week. Oh, let's show you the pretty side. Uh, it's been so good at making my own bread. I make about one loaf a week. Sometimes I make bagels too. Um, and because you can control what's in it, like there's no fillers, it's just flour, water, salt, and my sourdough starter that I started myself back in October. If you guys wanna know more about like how I've gotten into sourdough, let me know in the comments down below. There's so many channels and like I followed a TikTok to get started on mine, but I can share more about that if you're interested. I know it's bread and carbs and for someone who's on a weight loss journey, a strange choice to get into bread making, 
But honestly, I've been so into just eating more whole foods and trying to skip preservatives and added sugars, and this is a great way to do that with bread. Also, bread is so crazy expensive right now. It's great that I can buy a five pound bag of bread flour, and I'll be able to use this to probably make um, at least three loaves of sourdough plus maybe some bagels at some point. So to compare, this bag of bread flour was just over $5 and I feel like a standard loaf of bread I would normally buy in the store is $3.50. So I think it saves a little bit of money there, but it's been lovely having fresh sourdough at home. My allergy meds, because if you guys <laughs> remember from my last video, I've still been having some mystery allergies happening in our new house. I don't know, we haven't worked it out yet. So I'm sorry if I'm a little nasally. Um, I also grabbed some veggies, just to do salads or to have on hand for snacking with hummus. So I have a cucumber, a green bell pepper, a red bell pepper, some red onion. This is like some head lettuce, which we like on like sandwiches and things, and then a giant um, bunch of romaine. We just grabbed a bag of poppables, honey barbecue. Lila picked those out, and they were on sale. Thank the Lord. Chips have gotten so expensive, which. I guess it's a good thing. It makes me not want to buy them very often, but these are a good, relatively healthy choice um, for a little snacky, salty chip situation for either a snack or on the side with sandwiches. So yeah, super quick haul. I also got like diapers and some baby food for Nora, which I already popped into the pantry. Josh is on the way back home with my parents. He picked them up at the airport. They've been traveling all day, so I know they haven't really eaten a dinner. Tonight, I'm gonna try making strombolis. So a stromboli is kind of like an Italian style stuffed sandwich. I'm using store-bought pizza crust, some plain canned tomato sauce. I always try to find one that has no added sugar. This one is also low sodium. So that way I can mix in my own spices. And then for my sandwich filling, I'm gonna be loading it up with some deli meats, including salami and ham, some nice crunchy veggies with some green bell pepper and red onion, and of course, some shredded mozzarella cheese. I love this brand of pre-made pizza dough because it's already on baking paper. You just unroll it right on your sheet pan and pop it right in the oven. But I think you could really lower the points and I would definitely try this again by making my own two ingredient dough. Two ingredient dough is a staple among WW followers. It's just equal parts self-rising flour and plain non-fat Greek yogurt. There's tons and tons of recipes out there if you're looking for a lower point option for bread products. So I will definitely try that next time. This time around, I knew it was something quick I needed to throw together just to have something for everyone to eat tonight when my parents got home late from traveling all day. Once it's all flattened out, I'm just gonna go ahead and add some of the tomato sauce, my seasoning, layer on my fillings, top it off with mozzarella and some more Italian seasoning. Then we roll it up, cut some vents in the top, and bake it off. I'm planning on serving this with a nice big side Caesar salad, and it'll just be a great little snack to have as my family gets here. We visit for a while and settle in for the night. Hey guys, it's the next day. My mom and dad got home. Josh picked them up at the airport. So excited to have them here, but we just had some family time and enjoyed catching up and I forgot to pick up my camera again to close out the video. So for a late snacky dinner, we had the strombolis. I also whipped up just like a super simple Caesar salad. And then of course I had a glass of wine with my mom. We're so excited we get to spend a little family Christmas with them early this year. Lila was absolutely thrilled when she woke up and they were here this morning. She's actually at our neighborhood park with them right now. Nora's now 
napping upstairs so I stayed home to hold down the fort and close out this video because I'm so sorry I forgot last night anyway that is what I ate today on the new WW plan I will put any recipes especially for the stromboli so delicious down in the description box below please hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video subscribe if you had so you don't miss out on my next one and until next time bye